Hello all this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can make this bottle using a surface modeling in NX application. So without wasting time so let's get started with a new file. So I'll just go to file and new here and let me keep it as a modeling and mm. You can see here this is modeling and uh, millimeter and you can just click OK. So this will take you to uh, you know sketcher environment. So I'll just uh, 3D model workbench. So I'll just hit uh, sketcher environment and I will just go to sketcher environment. So here I am going to create a simple sketch for this uh, model. So I will just take an arc here and uh, this going. I am going to draw an arc here. So this arc is let me give the dimensions. So this dimension should be 8.8. .8. So let me give 8.8 .8 diameter. Okay. And then uh, whatever these three points should be vertically aligned. So I'll just press C and vertical alignment. So this point should be aligned to this and this point also should be aligned to this. And also uh, this point should lie on this uh, X axis. So point on a curve. So point should be on this curve. Okay. So now there is a distance here from this point to this axis. So it should be 53 mm. Okay. And let me fit this. So I have one other arc here. So I'll just go to arc from this point. The arc will be like this and the radius is 75 mm. So I will give 75 mm and I'll just click OK. And there is a distance here from this point to this axis. It is 45 mm. OK. And uh, whatever the distance from this point to this axis is. 21.5 okay so now you can see your sketch is fully constrained so I'm going to draw one more arc here so I'll just go to arc and from this point to this arc so this arc radius is 375 okay so let us draw this here and now we need to provide a dimension here so for from this point to this axis is 27 okay and the same point to along vertical distance it is 267 okay so now you can see here our sketch is fully constrained and one more arc is there i just wanted to draw it over here so let me go to arc from this point to this okay so now i'll just press c geometric constraint and it is perpendicularity so between these two this okay and also point on a curve so this point should lie on this curve and there is a distance here so let me hit d and distance between this to this is 5 mm okay so now you can see your sketch is fully constrained so that's all we have in this sketch so we can just finish the sketch so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, revolve this so let me go to revolve and select this particular sketch and my rotation ve uh, vector will be along this and uh, my point will be at 0 0 0 okay and now uh, instead of solid i'll just give it as a sheet okay so that's all we have we can just click okay so now let me go to sketch element on the same plane or it may be uh, you know perpendicular plane so here i'm going to draw a simple rectangle with three points so this is going to be my rectangle okay along like this so we are going to dimension it so hit d from this point to this it is 30 okay and from this point to this along x-axis it is 200 okay and from this point to again it is x-axis it is 90 and then from this point to this it is 25 okay and then uh, there will be one dimension which is an angle so angle between this with x axis is 70 okay so now that's all so our sketch is fully constrained so you can see here and now i need to give a uh, edge blend here so for that i'll just hit f and here edge blend should be 4 mm 
and here also it is 4 mm okay and now we need to you know uh, make an offset for this curve so let me go to offset and select this curve and it should be 4 mm and outside I can just click okay so our sketch is fully constrained so that's all we have in this sketch so I'm going to finish the sketch okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know offset this surface whatever the revolve we have so I'm going to offset this okay so let me offset this curve so I'll just go to offset and I'll just select this face and it should be 2 mm okay so now it's, it should be in the out, outside direction you can see here and I'll just click okay so now whatever the offset uh, you know surface is there I'm going to hide it so there will be inside surface so I'll just uh, make it as a static wireframe and now you can see here so we are we have you know switched on only the inside surface so this is going to be our inside surface on this inside surface I am going to project this curve so go to project curve okay so inside surface I am going to make an this curve smaller curve on this surface and it should be along this direction and it should be on the both sides okay so okay it's no problem you can just keep it as one side and you can just click okay okay so now let me show this with the shaded with edges so you can see here uh, whatever the you know projected curve has come here so now we have to trim this uh, you know uh, sheet before trimming I have just wanted to you know um, revolve this so how you are going to do pattern by using a pattern so go to pattern and select this curve and the vector will be along this vector and the point will be this center point okay so count and span the count will be 8 and the span will be 360 degree so you can just click okay so now we can see here so I'm going to trim this uh, sheet now so go to surface trim sheet and I'm going to select outside and the boundary will be this as well as this projected curve okay so I want to discard this I'll just click OK okay so for inside surface this we have done only these sheets are required for us so now what I'm going to do is I'll just switch on the outside surface so, okay this is going to be our outside surface so here I'm going to again extra you know project the outer curve so I'll just go to static wireframe again okay so I'll just go to curves and project curve so this time I'm going to select the outside curve okay so let me project it on this surface and the vector will be along this and you can just click okay so now let me go to shaded width edges okay so again the same procedure we need to revolve this so for that I'll just go to pattern and it should be circular pattern so now I'm going to select uh, this projected curve along this direction the point will be this center point okay so you can just click okay now I want to trim the sheet so you can see in the inside surface so we have trimmed all other except this uh, surface so we have to do it in the reverse way so we have to keep the other surfaces and we have to trim this inside so how we are going to do that so we'll just go to surface and trim sheet okay I'm going to select this and my boundary will be this pattern as well as this projected okay so instead of discard I'm going to make it as keep so that's all so now we can see our uh, surface is so whatever the surface that we need so it has come so you can see here there is a gap here uh, between these two surfaces so how we are going to fill that by using through curves so let me go to through curves and select this curve and this curve okay you can keep it as a saw sheet and you can just click okay so this through curves also I can make a pro you know, pattern so I'll just go to home and pattern feature so this I'm going to make it as a pattern along same direction and everything is same count and span everything same so you can just click okay so you can see everywhere I got this uh, surface 
so now uh, what I can do is I'm going to fill this uh, surface whatever that is in the top side so let me go to insert surface and bounded plane and I'm going to fill this surface so now let me go to sketcher in moment on this plane okay and here I'm going to draw a circle with a 40 mm diameter okay so this is going to be 40 mm and press C point on a curve so this point should be on X axis as well as this point should be on Y axis okay finish the sketch so here I'm going to extrude this so go to extrude and it should be sheet and the value from 0 to 30 okay and it should be sheet you can just click OK so now uh, we need to make uh, you know uh, remove this material so for that I'll just go to surface and trim sheet again and I'm going to remove this material boundary will be this and it should be discarded and you can just click OK okay so once this is done I'm going to sieve all the bodies so how you're going to do and just select a sieve and select one body and select everything okay click OK so now it is completely saved so now we need to provide an edge blends so before going to do that I'll just hit Control W and uh, I will switch off all the curves and all the sketches okay so here I'm going to go to edge blend and uh, the value so the radius will be 6 mm and it should be from this to this okay these two curves on every pattern I'm going to select it now So now you can see all the curves are selected. So now I'll just click OK. So you can see uh, the edge blend is done. So again, I have to do edge blend on this face. So go to edge blend and uh, the radius will be 11 mm and this is the edge. So you can just click apply. So again, there will be a one more edge blend on this surface edge. So it should be 18 mm and you can just click apply. So again, uh, the edge blend should be on this edge and this edge. So here the radius will be 7 mm and you can just click apply. So everything is sealed. So we need to queue thicken here. So go to thicken and select this sheet. And let us give 1 mm, you can see, and you can just click OK. It should be in the outside direction, you can see here, and you can just click OK. okay so now hit ctrl w and hide everything and show only solid bodies okay so this is how we can make this uh, model guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys